If you are in a search for a great sounding microphone or a great sounding microphone on a gaming headset, I have to say that you have to take a look at the ModMic Wireless. I'm Alex and today I'm going to show you how good this microphone actually is and show you that uh, you can make a great pair of gaming headphones with whatever headphones you choose. The microphone comes in a very nice hard shell carrying pouch that holds all of the accessories there. It holds the microphone, it holds the receiver, also it holds a few of the cables, you have an extension cord there, you have have a charging cord also and there are some magnetic nibs that you can uh, attach to the headphones so you can attach the microphone. The interesting thing here is that uh, you have the freedom to choose whatever headphones uh, you like and make them a pair of uh, headphones with a microphone that actually the microphone sounds amazing no matter if you're going for Audio Technica or for Biodynamic like I did with the DT880s you can attach this microphone either on the left or on the right ear cup but uh, the guys from ModMic actually recommend to attach it on the right ear cup because in this case the charging port of the microphone will be facing downwards so no matter that this is a wireless one if the battery dies you have to charge it and you can use it while it is being charging so it will be a little bit easier if the charging cord is on the bottom side of the microphone instead of the top side no matter this recommendation I have attached my microphone to the left ear cup because I have been used to using gaming headphones with uh, microphones coming from the left and it is a little bit unnatural for me to see the microphone coming from the right and in this case I haven't had any problems at all with attaching the microphone with the stability of the magnet with the strength of the magnet holding the microphone on the ear cup the great thing about the mod mic wireless is actually that it is a wireless one you don't have another cord coming from your headphones and uh, this relies on an aptex low latency codec so you have uh, incredibly low latency of the connection between the microphone and the USB receiver that you have another great thing is that the controls on the mod mic wireless are simple you have only one button that you can press for muting the microphone or you can press for two seconds to turn off the microphone the thing that I appreciate here is that the lighting indicators on the microphone are the same as on the receiver and my receiver is connected to the pass-through of my keyboard and I can easily see if I have muted my microphone because of course it won't be that easy to see on your ear if the lighting uh, is on and your microphone is muted something that I find interesting is that here you have two patterns of the voice capture of the microphone you have omnidirectional and unidirectional. The difference is that in omnidirectional mode the microphone will be picking sound from your surrounding. It will be picking your voice but also it can be picking very easily the sound from your keyboard, from your mouse or from the AC if uh, something like this is running. And in unidirectional mode you have a little bit of noise cancellation so these side noises will be muffled. I have to say that the quality of the sound is absolutely great and uh, it should be like this because this is not uh, that of a cheap microphone and I have been comparing it to my PC37X microphone also I have compared it to the HyperX Quadcast uh, standalone microphone so you can hear all these audio samples right now. I have set this to an omnidirectional mode so in omnidirectional mode this is going to pick up noises from all of your site it is not going to isolate that much and focus only on your voice it is going to pick up more of your surrounding sound. The thing here is that in omnidirectional mode you have uh, the best clarity of your voice you're going to have the best audio quality that is going to be picked from this microphone and I think that uh, if you're going to record yourself in a very quiet environment if you're going to record yourself in uh, something like a noise isolated room and this one is actually not isolated at all you're going to use the omnidirectional mode but if you're going to play some games and if you're going to be focusing on your uh, chat with your buddies on TeamSpeak or Discord or something like this you're going to want to switch to the unidirectional mode so in this case the microphone will be picking most of your voice and it is going to isolate a little bit of the surrounding sounds like a mechanical keyboard like a mouse or something like this and now we're going to switch to the other mode before switching to another gaming headset to make a comparison. Now I have switched the mod mic wireless to unidirectional mode and in this case you're going to use this mode when you're uh, playing some games and you have to uh, use the team speak with your team or if you're going to attend some meetings on Zoom on Microsoft Teams or whatever platform you're using. In this case there is a little bit of a compression of the voice it is not that significant also uh, I have to say that uh, the audio is still very 
really nice. It is absolutely perfect for uh, TeamSpeak. It is absolutely perfect for attending uh, online meetings and stuff like this. So in my opinion, this is one of the best microphones that you can get right now that you can pair with almost every kind of headphones. So as you can see, I have paired the Mod Mic Wireless with my Biodynamic DT880 and I have made something like uh, one of the best gaming headphones right now because the whole quality of the headphones is amazing. The sound of the headphones is amazing. Also, the sound of the microphone is on a very nice level. And now just for comparison, I'm going to make an audio recording with my PC37Xs so you can hear the microphone of this. This is a state-of-the-art microphone when we are talking about a complete gaming headset that comes with an integrated microphone. And after this, I'm going to make a recording with my HyperX Quadcast so you can hear the differences. And this is an audio sample from the PC37X microphone. This is one of the gaming headphones with the best sounding microphone. And I have to say that I have been using this headset for quite a while, while attending some online meetings uh, during the pandemic. After I got the mod mic wireless, I have been switching uh, to the DT880 with the mod mic, and I am more than pleasant with it. This microphone is also great, but here you can notice a compression in my voice and uh, the overall sound quality of the microphone is not on the level like on the mod mic and now I'm going to switch to the quadcast from HyperX to see how the mod mic compares to a stationary microphone. And now you're listening to the HyperX Quadcast. Now the microphone is in cardioid mode, so it will be picking uh, mostly my voice, not that much of the side tones. And I have to say that this is one of the most popular microphones in the gaming uh, segment, if I can say it like this, because a microphone is a microphone, no matter uh, if it is for gaming or for something like this. Uh, this gaming thing is just a gimmick, in my opinion. So this microphone is one of the good sounding out there on the market, and I have to say that I like it very much. I have been using it for some years already and uh, now it just stays in the drawer like uh, my pc 37 xs The installation of the mod mic wireless to your headphones is uh, incredibly easy. You just have to use the alcohol pad that is provided in the package to clean the side part of the headphones where you are going to stick the magnet nib so the microphone can attach. And uh, I have to recommend you to leave the headphones for something like 24 hours just to make sure that the adhesive uh, is doing its job and it's sticking very well to the side of the headphones. As it is a wireless microphone, it has a built-in battery and the guys from ModMic actually say that uh, this battery can last something like 10 hours. The great thing here is that you can charge the microphone while using it. So if the battery dies midstream, you can connect the micro USB cable to the microphone and use it again. The downside here is that the microphone is using a micro USB port and uh, I expect to see something like a USB Type-C, but uh, the design hasn't been changed. I hope that in future products we are going to see a USB Type-C as it is very convenient right now to use a Type-C. And to be absolutely honest, this thing and my Razer Viper Ultimate are the two things that are using a micro USB cable here in the office and uh, everything else is Type-C powered. I cannot complain about the build quality of the microphone. Everything here is on the top level of the build quality. I didn't experience any issues with it. I didn't experience any cracking or something like this. The arm is also flexible, so you can bend it uh, however you want. And I'm a fan of the fact that I can unstick this microphone from my biodynamic headphones and bring it with me home where I'm using an Audio-Technica headphones and I have stick the other magnet to the Audio-Technica. So when I get home, I can continue gaming and uh, using Discord for voice chat with this microphone it is easy to carry. The carrying pouch is convenient enough so you can carry this thing, you can carry the adapter and the charging cable and uh, if you want to make something like the best gaming headset in your opinion just grab the headphones that you like, maybe most of the people are going to use the Audio-Technica M50 Access, get one mod mic wireless and I doubt that you're going to look for another pair of gaming headset for quite a long time. My overall conclusion of the mod mic wireless is that this is a very convenient system that we are seeing here. And I'm making this video because I want to show you that you can make a great gaming headset. You can make a gaming headset with whatever headphones you want. And after you stick the mod mic wireless, you have a great audio for your TeamSpeak, for voice chat, for meetings and stuff like this. This is a very convenient thing. And also this is a standalone microphone, so it's not mandatory to be used on a headset. You can just use 
use it like this. Just make sure to face the right direction of the microphone. Link to the microphone will be left down below in the description. And I have a question for you. Which is the best gaming headset in terms of audio quality and in terms of microphone quality in your opinion? Please write it down below in the comments. I'm curious to see what you think about it. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, if you find it useful, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring the bell icon so you can receive notifications for upcoming videos. And I'll be seeing you in the next review. Bye.